So basically the Bamboo Lab um, standard flow hot end is just a straight through. So you can see a hole here, high flow from AliExpress, and you can see there is distinctive three holes inside. Not complete circular hole, but there is an extra piece of metal which conducts heat better. Why are they charging £44 for the Bamboo Lab? and £6 for the high flow. And I paid £6 for this a couple of weeks ago. And um, now I think you can get it even cheaper. I will put the link in the description so you guys can have a look yourself. It comes with a removable tip. The reason why you can see the metal bits that I showed you just now is because the tip come off. So when the tip worn out or stuck, you can actually change it. They do say change it when it is like a hot so you get a better seal and all that. And um, depends on which vendor you use on AliExpress. Some of them even come with the spare tips like this and that's another reason why I go with the aftermarket tip instead of the bamboo lab one. So this one I paid £18.38. Now I find that this is not so much saving on its own because I think you can get a bamboo lab uh, cool plate for uh, not much different but in terms of results yes it does work. So I printed this um, test um, from uh, Maker's World and it printed it like this yeah so literally a tiny contact point on the on the plate and it comes out. Now a lot of people say, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing special about it. But what is special about this is that I only use 35 degrees um, on the plate itself. So it say here PLA from 30 to 50. Uh, from 30, I find I don't really get good results. You can use it at 30 if you are printing something big, but with the stress test, um, it failed at 30. And um, yeah, 35, it actually printed perfect. And this is with a 0.4 nozzle. Again, the nozzle make a big difference because when I use the 0.2 nozzle, um, the same setting, it failed. It becomes spaghetti at the end of the print and the AI detection doesn't even detect it. So it just keep printing a bit of a mess. And I tried it again. So 0.2 nozzle doesn't really go with a uh, cool, cool plate. I can't even show you guys in this angle because this is huge. So this is huge because this is actually taller than what my uh, ceiling height here. I can't even let it stand up straight. So I might have to change the angle to show you guys. So this thing is printed in different parts on my P2S. Each of the eight segments, I would say around six to eight hours, depends if you're using high flow, low flow. But all this is printed with the 0.4 nozzle. I could have used the 0.6, but I thought I'm going to lose too much details. But I do love the dragon scale and the dragon face and um, it comes out really really nice no matter what's the reason you got the p2s for i hope you're happy with your purchase and uh, don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget bye bye